Hello and welcome back to Rage Gaming, my name is Hollow and today I want to talk to you about the impending news of Elden Ring. We've just entered September and with that the season of gaming news in the lead up to the Christmas season begins. This is the classic section of the year where reveals, trailers and releases, they all ramp up as advertising goes crazy in prep for that part of the year that many people do make a lot of purchases. In regards to Elden Ring and from software in general, well, we're feeling very overdue right now of an announcement of some kind be it a big new game reveal, which yes, we are expecting, or of course, obviously, Elden Ring's first major DLC, and maybe a release date with it. In this period, we can expect lots of game showcases, marketing to be much more pronounced overall, and a ton of information to digest in the scene. If there was ever a time for us to get some from software news, then it would be very, very soon. We have three major gaming events coming up in the coming months, so announcements are to be expected. To put things into perspective though, I should really highlight the official details we know so far from Miyazaki himself as well as the company. Not long back, Miyazaki took part in an interview with 4gamer.net with questions to do with From Software overall as well as specifically Elden Ring. Within that interview, 4gamer asked what will happen to Elden Ring and its future. Miyazaki clearly stated that updates for Elden Ring will continue, confirming further development. Now while the words paid DLC were never stated clearly, it is an obvious answer. However, it could indicate more than just paid DLC is coming. Maybe content updates that are indeed free. There's the three unused arenas around the lands between which serve as a fantastic location for potential match made PvP using filters to create a more balanced 1v1 based on levels and power. Adding in other game modes as well as 1v1 like team battles and free for all which we have seen in their arena systems in previous games. Cut content even shows rank up systems in the files of the game where you would rank up with factions we do see likely leading to special rewards depending on your progress with said faction. This this could be a part of a smaller PvP update that maybe wouldn't cost anything, or likely is tied in a major DLC release. Further, from the Katakawa Corporation, the parent company of From Software, there was a financial report released to inform their investors of how things currently stand and their future plans. Within that, Elden Ring was highlighted as a major success, having at the time sold over 13.4 million units as of March 31st, which was just one month after the game's release. Their stance at that time was Elden Ring was a big hit beyond expectations, and since then, they've now reported 16.6 .6 million units sold, so over 3 million in the month since April. That's incredible. Within that report, again back in March, they expressed their plan to help customers continue to enjoy Elden Ring, and specifically said they're considering multiple measures. That suggests more than one single update to the game, therefore, multiple DLCs, or at least multiple content updates, that, that's on the table. From Software has a history of releasing more than one DLC for its games, so we can definitely expect that with Elden Ring as their most successful game ever. So yeah, it's fair to assume they're going to try and continue its life, likely through paid content, and hopefully as well as that, free content. After all, they do have a history of free updates with their series, so that's exciting. Finally, they've also got multiple other games in the works right now, with one major release being very close to completion. In recent months, they've listed many job openings for robot art and mech design, which suggests one familiar name of From Software, and that's Armored Core. Armored Core was an old series from the From Software team that focused on creating and customizing mechs to take on missions and basically progress a story. A well beloved series for the fans of its time, I've often heard it described as a very satisfying mech sim for your armchair engineers. Now with the current technology, the massive success of From Software over the like the last decade, and obviously the wealth of knowledge and experience that comes with that, the potential for a new armored core and the quality of the game is very high. A new up-to-date and innovative version of Armored Core, with all of that that I just mentioned in mind, could be a massive hit for From Software in a different direction, with other players of a different genre. When we look back at Armored Core and that series, compared to say Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro, and now Elden Ring, those games have a very similar core, whereas Armored Core was a little bit different. I do think it's a good thing that From Software might be releasing something a bit different to the normal formula of the last decade. Having said that though, from potential leaks and rumours, this new Armoured Core might actually have a similar core to the Soulsborne series, like much more than the original uh, games. Maybe they want it to feel at least a little bit familiar to draw in Souls fans to try this new Armoured Core, so maybe the gameplay was designed with that in mind, but this information is far from reliable and might be just wishful thinking. But to tie back to the point of this video, I think we're going to learn more very soon. And that's a good thing because 
Man, I look back and apparently the last game technically came out in 2013. And it was actually Armored Core 5 that released in 2012, so that's been 10 years already. Back in 2018, after the launch of Sekiro, Miyazaki had stated that two more major games were in development at that time. One was naturally Elden Ring as we know now, but the other still not yet officially revealed and it is in its final stages of development. So yeah, we currently believe that is indeed the Armored Core game. Finally, in that 4Gamer interview, Miyazaki also spoke about the future of From Software. Somehow, he wants to focus on, quote, more abstract fantasy. That the action RPG genre has actually limited what they can implement. He's looking to collect these unsuitable ideas for their ARPGs and release them together in what sounds like a very different style of fantasy game. Once again, I really like the sound of that. I think that's exciting. I feel that From Software are best when they can just express themselves fully, try something totally new and not be stuck in a, a loop. Dark Souls 1, Bloodborne and Sekiro have similar cores, right? But they were very different games, very different stories and different types of fantasy and I love that kind of variety. To hear they're going to focus on that in the future, I'm interested in that. That's something I hope we can hear about in the upcoming marketing season, but I am skeptical that we will. As we know, they're working on more things at once now, rather than one major title at a time, and that's great, but it's still early days to hear about what's next beyond Armored Core and Elden Ring. But surely this upcoming season of marketing will feature Armored Core and Elden Ring updates rather than their new long-term plans at this time. But speaking of that marketing season and new announcements, when is that happening? Sadly, we obviously didn't get anything from the Gamescom showcase for From Software, but in September, we actually have the Tokyo Game Show coming up right in the middle of the month on the 15th. This is always an exciting show for From Software fans because they've actually revealed multiple of their titles at this exact show over the years. As a show, it's going to appeal to their home audience, so Armored Core could be revealed at that. As a smaller fan base, more focused on the East, it seems like the right kind of show for that. Whereas Elden Ring and Soulsborne series in general, that's been their breakout worldwide hit, right? The West is super engaged with that. They can announce whatever they want, whenever they want, obviously. But I could see Armored Core being at the Tokyo Game Show more than an Elden Ring DLC. There's no time pressure on that announcement for Elden Ring. Elden Ring is likely the game of the year, right? They could announce the DLC for that game anywhere, anytime over the next months, and the player base is always going to be excited and very interested whenever they do. And in this marketing season, they have multiple options to choose. We have the Tokyo Game Show, then we also have Gamescom Asia, that's in October, but most importantly in December, we have the Game Awards. If we didn't see the Elden Ring DLC announcement at the Tokyo Game Show, or even Gamescom Asia, then I would put money on it being at the Game Awards. I could see a show like the Game Awards literally paying from software to do the announcement at that show. It's not an unheard of concept. But in conclusion, From Software appears to be branching out, producing multiple big titles at once, like Armored Core and Elden Ring, stating also that they're working on multiple other things right now. Miyazaki wants to work on even more abstract fantasy, not limited by their current ARPG style, so it seems like they've got a lot planned for the future. Elden Ring, as their greatest success, is likely to have multiple updates, be it multiple paid DLC or otherwise, but it is confirmed to see future dev support and new content by Miyazaki himself. News of Armored Core and Elden Ring is imminent though, and there's not one or two, but three major shows that they could choose between to do one of these announcements. I would be shocked if we didn't see something at the Tokyo Game Show, but at very least, I think it's very reliable to think that we will get something at the Game Awards in December. But let me know what you guys think. Personally, I've never actually tried any of the Armored Core games, so I am interested to see what they make of it after this 10-year break. Will it end up being a bit more like Soulsborne, or will it be something totally different? For me, I don't care. I'm willing to try whatever they make at this point and see if it's for me. If you have enjoyed this video though and would like to see future content like this, be it news or discussions, then drop a like on the video so I can make them. For now, I've been Hollow, you've been you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is. Uh, goodbye.